You may want to do some photo editing before putting images up on your website, and PowerPoint's a great way to do this. This tutorial is going to show you how you can use PowerPoint to make a banner for your typical website. Okay, so first of all, we open PowerPoint. We're going to go to the Design ribbon and go to Page Setup. I'm going to change the width to 18 inches and the height to one and a half inches. It's going to be a rather narrow banner. This is fine for my purposes. And I'll click OK. So you'll see in the thumbnail view that we have this nice long banner. I'm going to close this area over here to give me a full workspace. I'm going to go to the home ribbon and change the layout to a blank slide just so I have the entire landscape to work with. A quick and easy way is to choose one of the design options already built in. And I think I will choose this one. Okay. You may want more saturated color, so you could come back and change the layout to, say, the title slide style. And you'll get more color. It's entirely up to you. Okay. So I'll get rid of these placeholder boxes because they're not going to work for my application. And I might say I don't want that color scheme. I like the layout, but not that color scheme. You can see you can scroll over and find one that works just for you. And change it as many times as you need. As you hover over the, the color gallery, you can see that different colors are applied. So when you've fiddled around and made the decisions and choices that you want. You can also start from scratch. There's nothing wrong with that, but this is just a nice way to get a jump on what your design will look like. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just put in the text that I want to appear at the top of my website. So I'm going to just go to the insert menu and grab a text box and put this in right here. And I'll say, welcome to the world of grass. That's what this looks like to me. Okay. And maybe I don't even want it to say welcome, just have it say world of grass. In the same way that you, you know, update anything in PowerPoint, there are always choices that you can make. And you might want to choose one of these color schemes. Of course the font size needs to be larger. And you end here's the world of grass. Something else you might want to put in is put in a picture. So let's say you have a picture that you have on your own computer. You could browse to it, or you could use the Microsoft clip art. So here's the Microsoft clip art. I'm going to put in the word grass. Make sure that includeoffice.com content is included, and click go. And choose one of these pictures that you like. Oh, that's a nice one. Hey, world and grass. Look at that. It almost looks like I planned this. So after you put your image in, you'll see the picture tools comes in, and you can do whatever you want with it. Maybe soften the edges, and perhaps flip it so that the world is on the other side. Okay. Whatever you want to do. And maybe my world of grass is more over here. All right. And then I want to save this. So I'm going to file and save and I'm going to save it as a PowerPoint file to start with because you'll want to come back. No doubt you'll want to make some sort of change. So I'm just going to call it banner and save it as a PowerPoint presentation. Then I'm going to do file, save as and change the file type to an image file type. So the choices are GIF, PNG, or JPEG. Everyone's familiar with JPEG uh, and most people know about GIFs. Pings are nice because they're small and they're scalable. It, you can really choose whichever one you like. For this example, I'm just going to choose a ping, and I'm still going to call it banner, and click Save. I'm going to say the current slide only, but if I had multiple slides, if I was formatting a lot of pictures for my site at one time, I could do that all at once. And now this image is ready to go up on my Google site. Okay, so here's my website that I made called World of Grass. 
um, that I want to apply the banner I made in PowerPoint to. So to apply that banner, I'm going to go to the More drop-down and Manage Site. I know that Google is planning on reworking this layout, uh, but for now, this is how it works. And I'm going to click Site Layout. I'm going to look at the header area and choose Change Logo. I'm going to choose a file, and I'm going to browse and find the banner ping image, not the PowerPoint file. And I'll click Open and OK. Alrighty, so I could uh, click Save right now and go back to the world of grass and see how that looks. And this is how it looks with my banner. So this is scaling because I've resized the window. So if you're looking at it at a full screen, uh, it won't go out of this box. There's no way that I know of to scale this image to uh, resize based on the device that's that's looking at it. So you may want to think about, you know, if this image is cut off or lost, it's not a problem. I don't want to see World of Grass here repeated since I have it as part of my image. So I'm going to go back to More Actions, Manage Site, and under General, I'm just going to uncheck Show the Site Name at the top of Pages. Click Save, and go back. And this is how my site appears to the world right now. You may want to get rid of the Search This Site box. Again, that's under the More Actions, Manage Site, and this time we're back under Site Layout. And it will be in the Configure Search area. And I'm just going to check off the boxes to enable the search. And click Save. And now you see it gets cleaner still. So I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, you can reach me at smcvay85 at gmail.com. Thanks a lot. This was Sandy McVeigh. Have a great day.